as I was passing, I thought I'd pop into the Aston Clinton rag pits. This is an area outside Aston Clinton and Wendover that in the past has been used for quarrying. As such, the ground is very uneven. It's been taken over by Bebont and is an absolute haven for wildlife. The things to watch out for here are really the slow worms and the Roman snails. In this country we have three indigenous types of lizards, so-called common lizards, sand lizards and slow worms. Slow worms in fact look like snakes uh, because they have no legs but they are part of the lizard family. This isn't very much of a walk because it probably only takes about 10 or 15 minutes to go through. But today it is alive with dragonflies. Dotted around the site are plates of corrugated iron. These are where the reptiles uh, shelter overnight and because they're made of iron it allows them to warm up their bodies quite quickly during the daytime. So as it's still morning I stand a reasonable chance of seeing maybe one maybe two of these beautiful amber creatures. If I say anything else that's just a bonus. beautiful little creature. Slow worms are one of three indigenous types of lizards in this country. I realise they don't look much like lizards. Uh, these are legless lizards. If you get close enough you can tell them because apart from snakes they have uh, external ears and they have eyelids uh, which snakes do not have. always love to see a slow worm. I'll put this little plate down. You going off mate? Another creature that this area is particularly well known for is the Roman snail. Roman snails because the story is that when the Roman legionnaires came to this country 2,000 odd years ago they brought them with them as a food source. Some escaped, surprisingly speedy, and now they are living in this area which is not that far from the Icknield Way. Here's my second slow worm of the morning. Beautiful, beautiful little creature. So, two slow worms, a Roman snail, and a shrew, possibly a vole. I think that's a pretty good result for 10 minutes wandering around. In the summer, this place is alive with orchids. There are something like 13 different species of orchids that you can find on this sort of piece of land. Uh, and for me, the standout orchid, of course, is the bee orchid. Very, very rare, very, very protected. 
and definitely here.